Competition is one of those things that are definitely noticeable in the world, especially in the tech scene, which leads me to what we're going to talk about today. This is Android Wear and iOS. Now if you don't know already, the Android Wear app has made its way into the App Store, which means, and I'm sure you got it from the title of the video, you can use your Android Wear smartwatch with your iPhone. And note that I said iPhone because you can't pair it with an iPad, and I don't see why someone would want to connect this to an iPod, but to each his own. So if you are on iOS and have been wanting to own a smartwatch but not having to pay the $349 for just the base model of the Apple Watch, now you have a choice. The setup process is straightforward, just like on the Android variant of the app, but this is just me being nitpicky, you have to manually type in the pair code on the iOS device. Not a huge problem by any means, but I'm used to pressing pair and leaving it at that. I've paired my Moto 360 with my iPhone 6 and tested some things out. Your notifications will be pushed from the phone to the smartwatch, you can answer phone calls, FaceTime calls, view your messages, and all that other stuff, but replying is where you will be missing out. Even if you're using another messaging app like Hangouts, you can't reply to messages, which kinda sucks. There are also no third party apps, and watch faces are horribly limited. Now the fact that you can't reply to messages may be a deal breaker right there, but you can reply to emails from your watch, control your music, still use OK Google for basic web searches and navigation, set reminders for important dates which will show up on your watch, so it ain't all bad. With the right watch face or color and style choices you have with Android Wear, these two can make a pretty sexy combination. But if you want full control and want to keep your iPhone, well, you'll either have to wait to see if they add more functionality or ultimately get an Apple Watch. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section and if you like this video, please be sure to demolish that like button right next to the subscribe button. Keep up with the tech news and other cool stuff on social media, links will be down in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, it's James here again, and I wanted to let you know that my dad has a YouTube channel. He's the one that got me started up on this YouTube thing, and I wouldn't be where I am today without him. So, he's a geek like me, he's really into Transformers, and he has a YouTube channel on it. So, the links will be down in the description, and it'd be much appreciated if you guys went over there and showed him some love. And I'll see you guys again.